Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share with you my personal Cricut challenge um, that I do with Misha from Scraps and Things 1. Hi Misha! I'm going to post a link below this video to her channel so you can head on over, check it out, get some inspiration, show her some YouTube love. Um, but basically we just challenge each other to use our Cricuts more often. That's all it is. We're doing two projects a month and this month we have due July 9th a monthly planner page. So I used my Stretch Your Imagination Cricut cartridge and I made the birthday hat here. I made a bunch of these and I sized them at three quarters of an inch so they're really small but cute. And then I used, that's from my Alphabet Cricut cartridge. And then from this one, Stretch Your Imagination, I used the, um, sorry, can't get it out. I used on page 60 the tall, skinnier balloon, which you can see right here. And I made a bunch of those. Um, and the reason why I went with a birthday theme for the month of July instead of like a patriotic theme is because we have a ton of, of birthdays for this month in the family. So I thought it would be cute. Anyway, I had this um, a monthly planner for 2017 from the Dollar Tree. And it's basically just, you know, a big calendar. Um, and that's it. And I've been seeing everybody, to, you know, decorating their really fancy planners and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. I love that. But I wasn't sure if I was really going to get into it or like it. So I thought, I'm just going to start with this and see how it goes. Um, but anyway, I have a clip on my page that I just tied some twine to. And then I made a beaded charm. And on the beaded charm, it has some things that are near and dear to my heart like scissors for crafting and also for cutting hair because I used to be a hairdresser and then um, a bird charm because I love nature and birding and then a tea pot because I love my tea so this is my planner page it's pretty simple um, it's my first one and oh my gosh I had so much fun doing this so I'm, I'm hoping we're going to you know, continue to, to do them. I did some stamping and some of the stamps I used was this Ready, Set, Stamp Birthday. Um, had a bunch of birthday cinnamons and cupcakes in this one. And then I also used the Birthday Anya because I knew I really didn't have anything going on these days here. So far, if I do, I'll have to write it in really small. Um, so I stamped her out and colored her up. But basically, I used colored pencils to color everything. I'm not, I'm not the best at coloring and shading, but I do have fun with it. And here are all my Cricut um, images, my balloons. And then I stamped these cute little banners and glittered them up and colored those in. I have an owl flare up here. I colored in the top. And then I used some washi tape. Stamp celebrate today. So over here I stamped some arrows and I have a chipboard arrow and this was my dad's birthday, um, July 3rd, and my niece and nephew, they're twins, it was their birthday as well. And here are my little Cricut party hats. So I put three on that day and colored it in, just stamped a cupcake because um, we had three that day and then I put a um, flag and patriotic... Uh, stars for 4th of July there and then here's another friend's birthday on the 8th coming up that's tomorrow so happy birthday Les and I have um, a wish big stamp here and a little cupcake and then he has a party hat too and then I just have written in here when my next Cricut projects are birthday Anya of course this was my this is my mom's birthday and then on the 13th my dad's having surgery so I stamped thinking of you and then I found this little tiny band-aid so I put it on there you know to get well um, so anyway those of you that pray I would really appreciate some prayers out to him and even if you don't pray just send some good vibes out in the universe that he has a 
an extremely successful surgery and a speedy full recovery. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Um, and then down here on the balloons I have a chipboard uh, bow and then I stamped these little flowers and then I just tore off some um, of this washi tape different colors all the way across the page. So that's my planner page and it looks, now you could see like these brown lines because last month I crossed the days off. I mean this is how boring my, my planner has been. Um, so it's definitely cuter to do this than this. And I had so much fun once I got started decorating it. So I'm definitely going to continue and if I keep it up I'm going to invest in a nicer planner. Um, but for now, this is good. I'm, I'm happy with it, and um, it's good enough. I write all my appointments in it, and it's from the Dollar Tree, so hey, fits my budget, right? Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to visit Misha's channel at Scraps and Things 1 for inspiration. Take care. Have a great day.